What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. If you're like me and you have an Iron Man and you need to train your construction up, this will be the guide for you. Or if you're looking for a way to make some money while making planks. Now before we begin, I do want to say that the fastest way for you or an Iron Man to obtain these teak logs would be to use miscellaneous and passively gather them over time and train other skills and do other things in the game so that in a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months, you'll have tons of teak logs um, gathered in your miscellaneous and then you can collect them in bulk at that time and then turn all those logs into planks, which is an extremely fast method you can do between like three to 5,000 planks per hour. But in this method, we're gonna be gathering the logs and turning them into planks at the same time in the most efficient way possible. Now there are a few requirements and recommendations you will need to use this method. You will need to complete the quest Bon Voyage and you will need 35 farming and 35 wood cutting. You'll need 35 farming so that you can actually plant the teak trees and wait a few days so that you can start cutting them down. You will also need a dig site pendant so you can actually get to Fossil Island. You can craft these at a pretty low crafting level and magic level to imbue them. Um, you can also put a mounted dig site talisman in your house. Now that does cost 82 construction. Um, if you don't have that, I was able to boost from 75 to create this with a plus five boost with a spicy stew plus the crystal saw, which gave me a plus seven two plus eight boost so I could put that in my house. So I now have unlimited teleports to Fossil Island and do not have to bank constantly because you only hold five charges in a regular dig site pendant. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take you through a quick run of me actually making these logs into planks. So once you have a full inventory of teak planks from cutting down these three trees on Fossil Island, you're gonna to teleport to your house and you're gonna go ahead and click either on your dig site pendant if you have one in your house or you're just gonna go ahead and do house options here, call servant, take to the sawmill. Now I do it this way, I'll go ahead and click on my pendant, click here, call servant, and you can see I did not teleport yet. It stalled the process. So once I do actually hit and complete the process here, it is gonna teleport me. Now another good thing is to have in your house is mine's over here hiding the servant's money bag. You wanna put money in there. He takes about 10,000 GP. I think it's every 10 trips. Um, from there so it skips another interface you'll have because he'll ask you to pay him if you have money in your money bag Then that's just another interface you'll be able to skip So once I go ahead and finish this off, it's gonna automatically teleport me to the dig site and here we are So you're gonna go walk right back over here to quick travel on the barge And then you're just gonna walk right on over through this hole and then you're right back at the teak tree. So it's a pretty quick process. It just really depends on your woodcutting level as far as, as to how fast you actually get the logs. That does it for the recommendations and requirements. We're gonna go ahead and get right into doing a quick hour of doing this and seeing how many planks that we can get. Here we go. All right, and there you have it, boys. The timer just hit zero. And the total experience we got was 53.6k woodcut experience while we did that. And keep in mind, again, I was only 77 woodcut while I was doing this along with a rune axe. So let's go ahead and check the bank to see how many planks we got. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Starting planks was 2,895. Starting cash was 3,194,945. You can see the cash stack there. Didn't spend too much. Um, let's go ahead and see what the planks are. 3,526. All right, after our calculations, we started with 2,895 planks, ended with 3,526, which totaled 631 planks in an hour, which cost 315K uh, GP, which is what I spent in an hour plus 30K from the money bag. So you can expect at my level and with a rune axe, 77 woodcutting as well that you'll be getting 631 planks now if you did have a higher woodcut level and possibly a dragon axe you could get upwards of a thousand planks an hour doing this but again you can passively get these uh logs while doing miscellanea and then quick method of turning these logs into planks all right now i didn't forget about those of you that do just miscellanea and don't want to do all that woodcutting 
Um, one of the fastest way to get your favor up to 100% is to bring a rake with you and or super compost if you need it. But if you're close to 100% already, literally you just need to rake these two patches right here. Each of these patches give you about 2.5% favor, which is crazy after you finish raking them. Um, like I'll just do this. I probably should have checked this here. So let's go ahead and quickly check it. I'm at 100% already. Okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and check our miscellany just to see how many um, how many logs that we can get. Teak logs. Now I am 80 herb lore and I do have mine set on herbs right now. But for the sake of the video, we are going to put it all on um, hardwood. Teak logs. So go to collect and check resource allocation. We have 675k in there. So... We need to definitely add some more. You need to have at least 750,000 GP in there um, at all times. So we're going to add, let's do 500K for right now. And then we're going to check it again. And as you can see, all of it's on herbs. Again, we're going to go ahead and lower that down and put all of it on hardwood teaks. We can do one more here. Yep, there we go. And then we're going to collect. This is about a week's worth of miscellanea, by the way, just if you guys did not know. 2,000 teak logs. So roughly 2,000 teak logs within a week. That's not that bad. If you do this passively over like a month, you can get upwards of, you know, six to 10,000 roughly. Uh, but yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the method of turning all of those planks or all of those logs into planks what you're going to need to do is hop over to a pvp world now where i'm standing right now there is actually a bank chest right here on all pvp worlds so we're going to go over to not dead man 324 here we go and then as you can see there is a bank chest right here so what you're going to want to do is bank all of your stuff. You can work race tool if you want. Um, if you don't want to risk losing it, you can just bank it. You're going to need law runes and air runes. So I'm just going to bring with me just 100 teleports. I'm not going to bring my rune pouch because I don't want to risk it. So, all right, so you're going to want to get about 100 teleports in your inventory. Um, the amount of cash that you're willing to risk just in case you accidentally walk out of here. I know I'm not going to do that. So... I just got two mil on me. I'm going to go ahead and teleport to the house. And we are going to click on our Camelot portal, which is right over there. And then in the meantime, we're going to click on our house options, call servant, take the sawmill, 26 teak logs. And as soon as you finish that, boom, teleports you right back to Cami. And then you're just going to rinse and repeat, guys. It's super fast to do this. So for those of you that don't feel like cutting your um, logs down and getting them, this is literally the best alternative and the best way to actually make planks in the game. Boom. Now, for those of you that do not want to risk being in a PvP world uh, while making your planks, which is understandable, there's hardcores, Iron Man, Ultimate Iron Man that don't want to, because literally if you walk out here, it is literally unsafe. This skull goes away and anybody can attack you, which a lot of people sit here and wait for you to walk out of there. So I'm going to hop back to a regular world. And if you do have, I believe it's the Kandarin Hard Diaries unlocked, you can teleport to Kami and it'll teleport you right in front of the Sears Bank right over here, which is just another easy teleport. Um, so if you have any other teleport option that gets you really close to a bank, like a... Um, Castle Wars teleport, that actually might be a good method as well. Um, any other place other than a PvP world that you don't want to go that has close access to a bank will work just fine. Just won't be able to make them just as fast because of how close the bank actually is, the bank chest is, to where you'll be teleporting. So just a quick example of this is if you want to use your jewelry box, hit Castle Wars here. Go to your options, call servant, and it'll be the same exact thing. The Castle Wars teleport is just a little bit further away from wherever you land because you're landing over here. If you're at the cami spot in the PvP world, you're like landing right here in front of it. And then with that as well, you might want to move your um, teleport jewelry box a little bit further away because you got to get your clicks in there really fast, as you just saw. Um, just for efficiency wise, I have mine really close right here. So 
you want to click that, go over here, call your servant really fast, and just, you know, go through the motions. That is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments because I know there's a lot into this, and there might be some other spots that might be viable as well for you guys that maybe I'm not aware of. I do know this is one of the fastest way to make planks in the game and to obtain them. So let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. If you have any questions about this process, I do read all my comments and I will try and answer them to the best of my ability. So if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.